Hello Scorpio, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And it will be from the 29th of March to the 4th of April 2021. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching energy or message for the week. Message for Scorpio, please. Angels, spirits, guides, message for our lovely Scorpios. Thank you. Thank you. Three cards there, Scorpio. <laughs> Let's go with it. We have, oh, number two, abundance. Goddess of abundance divine. Let me thrive, let fortune be mine. Beautiful energy. Remember, abundance can just not be about, you know, if you've been feeling like it's about feeling enough, you know, feeling abundant within yourself, feeling fulfilled. But it can also be materially as well. We have... Uh, number nine, peace. Bridget, goddess, in your sacred name, a light within me pieces flame. Bridget, goddess, in your sacred name, a light within me pieces flame. And then I've got destiny. Number eight, destiny. All that I shall need to know as I walk shall now be shown. Wow. Wow. So powerful energies there, Scorpio, for the week. Let's pull some angel cards. Angels, what is the message for Scorpio, please, for the week? Thank you. Message for our lovely Scorpios. Thank you. Message for our lovely Scorpio. Oh, my God. <laughs> I've got yes. Whatever you've been asking the universe for, there's definitely an energy of some kind of fulfilling energy coming your way, that's for sure, and it's meant to be. Okay, Scorpio, let's pull some cards and see what we get. Message for Scorpio, please. Angel Spirits Guides, 29th of March to the 4th of April 2021, please. So I'm going to pull three cards, Scorpio, and then we'll clarify, go deeper into the message. Thank you. Knight of Coins in the challenge position. Card of Virgo, generally. Um, we have the Four of Cups. Seven of Coins. What do we have for Scorpio, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for Scorpio. Oh my goodness, Scorpio. <laughs> I've got the Knight of Coins again. I've got the Four of Cups clarified with the Emperor. And I've got, <laughs> I love this energy. I've got the Wheel of Fortune. Oh my goodness, this feels like a big week for you. Um, the sun. Absolutely beautiful energies, wow. And you know what? We've got destiny here, destiny. Yeah, very in sync, the cards. Perseverance is the key here because the opportunity doesn't seem to be materialising and you might feel a bit stuck. Uh, Knight of Coins generally can be about someone making you an offer, um, can be in terms of a job, a business partnership, winning some new business, uh, a contract, I mean call it what you will. It's taken a lot of hard work. Um, there's an element of the mundane with the Knight of Coins, a lot of repetitive hard work, tasks, paperwork, I mean call it what you will, it definitely feels to do with money, career, finances here. So in this respect, there's definitely an energy of it's coming and there's going to be some kind of turning point. And that's what the yes is all about because 
I mean, whatever has made you feel stuck here, Scorpio, a lot of hard work and energy to manifest this opportunity. Spirit is saying the opportunity is coming. Yeah. Love the energy. And the nights are all about change. Uh, so there's definitely an energy that you might be offered some kind of opportunity just when you're feeling maybe at your lowest, just when you're feeling stuck and bored and apathy and things are never going to change, then all of a sudden there's the offer. And there is the energy. You, you might be offered something by an emperor. Now, this is somebody who would be a head of a company. He would probably own the company or be pretty much the head of it. So some of you might be dealing with an emperor, somebody in authority, somebody who is in charge, um, somebody who will make decisions, somebody who is of influence, a very influential person. And I like the energy of the emperor because he is a great card of success being in your power as well as an energy, um, taking control of a situation. So it's almost kind of like Spirit is telling you this energy of, of Groundhog Day, of having had, and it felt like this, this treadmill of not breaking free from this cycle of feeling stuck and almost kind of like thinking it's never going to happen. And then all of a sudden, there is the change. There is the offer, the opportunity. <clears throat> now, it could well be from an organisation with lots of structure, lots of tiers as well. Um, would be a large national, multinational organisation. You might be waiting for an opportunity or for some business from them. So, yeah, that might resonate for you as well. <clears throat> it's about to change. <clears throat> the, sorry. I did um this uh, I did a did I say I did a smudge before I did this last week to myself as well where it just it's probably a little bit too strong and it's come my throat a little bit um so <laughs> so we've got the wheel of fortune which is destiny things happening when they're meant to happen so there's a level of be patient keep persevering because the offer is coming and you know, the seven of, of coins can be a frustrating energy. You know, I'm putting all this time and effort and energy and I'm feeling so tested and I'm, I'm, I'm having challenge breaking free of this, this bubble of feeling stuck. Well, it's going to change. That's what the Wheel of Fortune says. Good luck, good fortune, expansion, growth is coming your way. But there is an element of perseverance but the opportunity is coming and that is what's beautiful here. Um, greater abundance is coming your way. You could have been dissatisfied in terms of your money and pay as well. And there's definitely an energy of greater abundance is coming your way. So maybe some kind of like pay rise or next level up opportunity, title changes. It could well be that as well, Scorpio, for some of you. Uh, it feels very beautiful. It feels greater abundance is coming your way. Because, you know, the sun is an abundant energy and it's also a card of success. Very good in terms of money and career, material success. So just when you didn't think it was going to happen, there is, it bursts into life. There is the energy, there is coming through the other side of the barrier that you felt stuck in for a period of time. And this is the feel good energy of good news, celebration, joy, happiness, being really, really happy. And that also is abundant too. Um, growth, stepping into your light, seeing the light as well, seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. It definitely feels in this energy, just keep going, keep doing what you're doing. The seven of pentacles is a card of practical resources, capabilities, perseverance, focus, determination, patience, because it's a testing energy, it's Saturnian, which is the god of restraint. Um, use your time wisely as well. Uh, but there is absolutely an energy here of 
it's bringing your reward and it's a karmic reward you know this is an energy of destiny the karmic reward as a result of all the work that you've been doing so don't give up you know don't let things get on top of you because it feels for some of you the turning point is is coming your way and then i have all of a sudden it happening the good news celebration joy so it feels very very beautiful here scorpio i have to say i'm going to pull a final message what do we have as a final message for scorpio please <clears throat> It's bringing such peace as well. I like that energy of peace because it just feels, oh, thank goodness, you know? Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness, you know? Good luck, good fortune. And we have a uh, ladybird look. All of your manifesting positive thoughts and visualizations have been heard. And that's by the universe and it's time for you to reap the reward it's a lovely lovely energy here um definitely some kind of offer opportunity here feels very beautiful so i hope you enjoyed the reading if you did please do like share and subscribe i hope it's a wonderful week for you all and i will see you next time thank you